hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is Rhoda here now let me give you a disclaimer this is an old video I keep this video during the winter but the reason for posting it now is because I want to give you a pep talk okay I want to talk about something but unfortunately I cannot show my face you know just do an ordinary recording with my face because my nose is quite red all the areas around my nose okay they are red in color because I have been cleaning my nose sneezing coughing I've had fluces you know yesterday so pardon me for that that's why I whipped up this old video because I wanted to talk to you about something all right let's get to it so have you ever heard of this statement okay that forgiving people is for your own sake not for the sake of the person who offended you that is when you forgive a person you are doing it for your peace of mind not necessarily for the person's okay for the person's comfort or anything I think that statement is true so I want to talk to you about forgiveness and letting go I think for most Christians forgiving is something that they can easily do but you see letting go is such a hard thing to do because like letting go involves not regurgitating that incident every time you see the person letting go involves not you know living under the bondage of whatever the person might have said to you or done to you okay it means that you can still live your life and see this person that relates normally even though you've learned lessons from the incident okay on how to go on forward but still if you are in a position to help the person okay you are not going to ignore it based on what that person did to you yes that is letting go okay so and this is a place where you can get to through prayers and the constant reminding of yourselves and even you know consuming the word of god is not something you can just do naturally all right so i have a story to tell you you know when uh i was to get married to my husband that's before i got married to my husband we were still caught and then we were engaged um he introduced me to so many people that we are very dear to him we were going to meet all these wonderful people right one of the persons i was introduced to okay gave me the shock of my life so that encounter with the person was not you know very it didn't go very well that first encounter because um in fact let me tell you that day i felt so belittled i felt so little you know how somebody will talk you down talk down on you okay and you will just feel so inferior that was what happened that particular day. The person said some things about the place where I came from and how people who come from my place are very wretched and lazy and poor. You know, like, you know, all kinds of demeaning terms. But the thing is, yeah, I felt very little. I felt very inferior. In fact, on the way back home, I was in the car. I was crying. Okay, there were tears in my eyes. I, 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 all the while the person was talking, when we were still at the place where I was introduced to the person, I was looking down on my phone and like, you know, just pressing very furiously on the keypad. I wasn't really pressing, any, pressing anything per se. I just did not want to cry. The thing is that after that incident, you know, for the first two years of my marriage, even after I had gotten, after I had already married my husband, I found myself still trying so hard to please this person, to correct that notion the person has about people from my place, you know, just trying so hard to to get this person to like me, to have, but, you know, I have understood that when you try so hard to please people who who enjoy bullying others, you are giving them more wings. It's only in retrospect that I know this now. Then I didn't. So, but the thing is that for me, after praying, okay, I prayed for a long period of time, okay, I'm telling you, and I was not a baby Christian during that period, I'm telling the truth, I was not a baby Christian, but this thing affected me so much. After praying, God gave me liberation. So, what I did was that I started praying for this person. <laughs> the more I prayed for them, the more I felt like the, the, the bondage losing from my heart. The more I felt free. And at some point, I eventually started pitying her. Okay? Because sometimes when you pray for people, God gives you the privilege and the honor. Okay? It's an honor. You don't, it's not, you shouldn't boast about it. But God gives you 
a little privilege to just see a little window into the person's life and the things that may be responsible for the way they are behaving so that you can even pray more properly. So that was what happened. And having gotten to that stage, I was liberated. I stopped trying to please her. I stopped trying to show my accomplishments to her just to disprove this notion she has about people from my place. It was just very freeing. And I started to wonder why was I, what was I looking for before? Why was I in this bondage? <laughs> you guys, there is grace in relaxing. Maybe somebody has hurt you. Somebody has said harsh words, especially harsh words, okay? Or treated you in a very degrading manner. Yeah, you have forgiven, but you've not let go. Every time you see this person, you regurgitate that incident. Anytime something happens, you regurgitate that incident. In fact, if you are in a pos opportunity or in a position to assist the person, you would not do that because you are still holding on to that incident that happened. No, it doesn't have to be. Let go and receive freedom. And so if you are like me then, some years back, that you are still living under the bondage of what somebody has spoken over you, of what somebody has said about you. Maybe they said you are good for nothing. Maybe they said you would not amount to anything. Maybe they addressed you. They said something about you. Please receive your freedom now in the name of Jesus. I command every chain that has fettered you to the words that people have spoken to you or spoken about you that are degrading that are condemning to be loosened in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your freedom. You don't have to live under those words. You don't have to go on seeking to please them. Because of course, in as much as you forgive and let go, you are still going to learn a lesson. Okay? You learn a lesson how to relate with them. Okay? Because honestly, in God's house, and the person is a Christian, so he's not an unbeliever. In God's house, okay, just as you have so many children, you have your children, four children for example, and they have different characters. In God's house, we have children of God with different characters who are still being sanctified. All of us are being sanctified. Some people are at a higher level of maturity than others, but still, we are still being sanctified. And so God has different types of children. You have to accept that. You have to be willing. If you know this, it will be easier for you not just to forgive, but to let go. I hope I was able to share one or two things with you. And so please do try to apply them if there is anything you've learned from my talk today, okay? It just occurred to me and I said, let me just say this out before I forget it, alright? So thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I will see you next time in my next video. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to share, and to comment. And I will see you next time.